of Earth. My name is Rob Wheeland. I am an author, game designer, and professional nerd. Tonight, I am the host of Theater of the Mind Players, your no friendly local actual play show. <coughs> Flaps! I missed it. <laughs> Let's bring back Akka. <laughs> you weren't even here for Akka! Jenny, are you, are you bringing the fight today? <laughs> I have a whole sack of it right chat. <laughs> Jenny logged in and chose violence. Uh, tonight, we are playing City of Mist, uh, which is by Son of Oak Games Studio. Uh, it is a game about ordinary people and legendary powers. Uh, essentially, each of the characters is a, a regular human in a, a strange modern city that has some... Uh, unusual connection with some sort of mythological or legendary figure. Uh, and they're trying to balance their lives between the mysteries that they're exploring as this legendary figure and their normal lives as a citizen of, uh, of a society. Um, we have been playing, this is the beginning of the final arc of this season. Uh, so if you have not, uh, seen uh, the the show, we recommend that you go all the way back uh, to the first episode in this series. If not, if you want even more content, go back to our pilot one shot that we did um, a, a few months previous uh, before, and then come back, watch all those shows, come back here, uh, and you'll have a much better grasp of what's going on, um, as this game is very serialized and very... Um, uh, soap opera-y, so uh, we want you to make sure that, that you're gra grasping the full storylines before we get into uh, into telling the story. It's chill, we'll wait. Yeah. you. Well, they've Apparently, I, I'm an old, they've apparently invented this thing called a pause button, <gasps> so you know. Um, anyway, uh, at, what we'd like to do uh, right now is introduce you to all of our players. What, uh, what I'd like for them to do is to introduce um, who they are, um, uh, the, who their character is and what legend uh, they are connected to. Um, so uh, I'll go first. My name is Rob Wieland. Uh, my pronouns are he, him. I am the uh, the master of ceremony, so I play all the other uh, characters um, that they encounter here in the city. Uh, let's go to... Which way are we going? Which way are we going? 
our first mind player. Hi, I'm Jenny Higgins, she, her, and I am playing Dorothy Troy, whose sweet mystery of life is split between the investigative journalist Logos and the prophetess Cassandra Mythos. Let's go to our next mind player. Hello, my name is Tony Cheek, he, him. Uh, I am playing Robin Parker, who is just a kid trying to figure out life in the world, while also being... Uh, Having the, being connected to the legend of Peter Pan, who who doesn't want to grow up. Uh, let's go on to our... We're going to actually save you for last because of uh, dramatics. Uh, let's move on to our next mind player. Hi, I'm Tawny P. Thompson. She, hers, and I am playing... Why did I do this to myself? Tawny Barnes. Never again. Never, ever, ever again. You've learned a lesson. I, that's what's I have learned. Um, <laughs> the more you... <laughs> Uh, but she is also known as DJ Night Owl. Uh, she has a late night um, radio show, and I am playing the mythos of owls in a variety of cultures. Let's move on to our next mind player. Hi, I'm Ethan Ikes of Anderson, he, him, and my sour mystery of life is uh, that I am <laughs> a, uh, a detective who is also Santa Claus. Uh, and let's move on to our final mind player this evening. Hi, my name is Sarah Babe. She, they. I'm Haley Jones. That's because uh, at the end of our last story arc, Godfathers of the Gods, uh, she essentially burned through her power uh, as, uh, Medu uh, as her, with her connection to Medusa. And that caused her to revert to an entirely mundane form. Um, this is one of the reasons why the uh, uh, the, the the rifts, as they are known, um, have to balance their life between their legendary powers and their ordinary problems. Um, because if they don't, they disappear from the city. And uh, we did discover that uh, that Haley is part, still part of the city. Um, but she has disappeared from the lives of the rest of the riffs here. I'm a data entry specialist. <laughs> oh. Oh. Gross. <laughs> like I'm at, like I'm, I imagine that it is like it. It's so you tell me, is it typewriters or is it like word processors with like the, the CRT, like glowing green? Oh, screens? it is Totally CRT word processors. Because oh, that's like soul sucking. That's how you go cross eyed by the end of the day. That's what that is. I love my job. It's Just really fulfilling. Yeah. <laughs> I see Sarah came prepared to lean into this uh <laughs> the this step for wives by way of office space thing going on here. Um I'm here for it. It feels um, culty. <laughs> what, uh, they have a 401k though oh what's yeah. the match <laughs> I have dental end vision Ooh. do you like my new glasses uh, <laughs> so um, what's the AD&D &D? like <laughs> the so uh, uh, so that's what Haley's been doing she's been living her life um, and entering data for um, the city in uh, city center one um, oh, that's a little too close to home. Okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> just an average Wednesday. Um, you said that she's disappeared from our lives. Do yeah. we notice she's gone or? Yes. Okay. Um, as you are. So um, the, the, the vast majority of people um, in the city do not take note to of when the uh, strange things in the city happened that the that the rifts caused, you know, like dragons flying through the down Main Street or fireballs being thrown, or you know, epic sword battles or or, or whatever, um, because the mist surrounds that and causes everybody to forget. And it is also um, the jurisdiction of a of a strange organization uh, known as the uh, Gatekeepers, who are kind of men in black style suits with. Uh, that that deal with the problems that that rifts cause and and uh, this group has had some run-ins with various agents uh, in in this way. Um, so 
um, because time has passed, that means that uh, you have had some downtime to uh, figure out what's going on and uh, uh, spending time to uh, sort of dig into... We, because we've covered so many other mysteries, the mystery here is where's Haley? Um, so uh, we we did a, a downtime montage uh, last during our last arc. Uh, so I don't necessarily feel like I need to go through the the options again. Um, but we're going to give uh, each one of the people at the table that is a rift uh, an opportunity to engage in the montage because I'm sure that uh, uh, your montage is going to be filling out paperwork for your four hundred one k and you know watching all the watching all the safety videos and 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 everything learning about the anti harassment policy <laughs> and signing a birthday card for Sherry in accounting yeah. Sherry's so sweet listening to your favorite sound of the ceiling lights just buzzing Sherry with a Y not Sherry with an I Sherry with an I is in accounts payable. <laughs> They really don't like it when you confuse the two. They're both very nice women, though. And they can hear the spelling when you say their name. <laughs> it sounds totally different. It's oh. Sherry and Sherry. Oh. Sherry is allergic to gluten, so make sure her cakes. But Sherry is allergic to peanuts. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, that's and why Sherry... it's on them to bring their own treats and everyone else fills out the card. Yeah. Sherry yeah. is a really huge fan of Spider-Man. Yeah. Oh well, and oh, well that came. she's my favorite. <laughs> so, okay, now that I've had a moment to disassociate uh, from, the, <laughs> from the table after having severe flashbacks on my last corporate uh, job, um, so um, what is everybody doing during this downtime? Let's start with Robin. Oof, bad choice. Um, I don't know. I have three things that I could be doing. I could be. Looking for Tinkerbell, I could be um, helping Santa with his new campaign, or I could be trying to find out what happened to um, Haley. Well, I think Santa, we're, we'll be dealing with Santa's campaign on, on, on his own terms. Okay. Um, and I feel like Tinkerbell is sort of the, the, the thrust of your... Um, your campaign arc. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I feel like that's probably the strongest choice. All right. Then, yeah. Okay. So um, that means that you uh, are, do you want to gain three clues on where she is? Sure. So how are you working the case? Tell everyone at the table how you do it um, and gain three clues with a method and a source based on your description. <laughs> So, if I may make a suggestion that I think the entire table will enjoy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, no. Are we doing a scene with Theo Jingles? <laughs> oh. I, I think that everybody at this table would hate me if I said no. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't hate you. We would just think you're silly. Yeah. <laughs> we would be <laughs> sad about missed opportunities. We would, we, would, we would just we would just pause the taping and we'd come back and Tony with like a with like a yeah. <laughs> we're going jingles. <laughs> yeah, jingles would never condone violence. Oh god, jingles on the other hand, all about yeah, the violence. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> you know, jingles actually have Sarah's got to get her a weird fix somewhere. <laughs> and a dental plan. I mean, true. Yeah. So yeah, the O Jingles. So you're going to uh, the O Jingles bar. Is it just called uh, O Jingles, or is it? Of course it is. Well, I don't know if it was like Jimmy's or. Oh no no no! It's got to be um no. Uh, it's it's got to be something German sounding because that's ridiculous. Um, dust jingle, just jangle, dust jingle. Das uh, Jingleheimers. Yes! 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 Oh, that was so much better. Oh. They've got a second location called Jingleheimers, too. <laughs> this, this is a very deep Milwaukee bar cut. <laughs> there's, a, there's a restaurant that's called Jingleheimer Schmidt. <laughs> And they only they only shout there. Yes. <laughs> no, Jingleheimer's two is where the Ojangles hang out. Obviously. <laughs> 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 
there's a Romeo and Juliet story happening within okay. the oh, North yeah. Pole. Yeah, yeah, 100. Yeah. That's <laughs> that's the next time we play City of Mist. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's, like, the, that's the novella that's happening on the side. Well, of I, I feel like that's going to be the, 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 the overarching, uh, should we return to this for season two, it's going to be the Ojinga Ojinga War. Where where the you know two houses both fields versus both alike in dignity both alike in jingleosity and jingledy jingledy is that you know what (laughs) I'm a writer it's a word jingledy night city where we lay our seat right 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 um so how do you get into the bar since you're a kid. Like this isn't Milwaukee. You can't just walk into a bar as a kid. <laughs> oh wait, that's not. I mean, oh, that's not a thing all over no. the country. <laughs> Is there a guy at the bar who will just be your dad? Because um, that's how it does work in Milwaukee. Yeah. <laughs> hey, will, you, will you be my dad and take the, me into this bar? Who's yeah. the bar dad? So, um, you've been trying to reach out to Santa uh, in, in to, to help in your quest, and, and he has not been answering his phone. Mm-hmm. Um, and I mean, you know that he has, was talking about running for mayor and all that, but but it you you also kind of get a weird like between H- Haley disappearing and Santa or an officer Clausen uh, focusing on his thing. You you've kind of been feeling a little like where did everybody go? I thought we were like a team, guys. Like where? Did go? Um, so uh, you have decided to turn to uh, the. Oh, jingles, it's jingles, yeah. The oh, jingles, jingles yeah. 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 I gotta, I gotta remember reverse because I, because I want to make sure I don't. Um, you gotta think. I got spurs that jingle. Right, 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 right. right. Okay. Um, how do you get into the bar? Um. Oh man, I have like three ideas. I could either a <laughs> do a little rascals and just sit on someone's shoulders. B. Oh, he has an idea. Can you still fly? Can I? I think so. Can you sit on your own shoulders in a trench coat? <laughs> I could. Just be, just a stop at be ethereal and float. Uh, Sir, your feet, they're um, <laughs> not there. them out to be cleaned. You just, you just tape some socks to them. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's do that. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. I like it. I like it. Okay. Oh, it's so dumb. It's perfect. You have to... You- do you have some sort of some bad facial hair that you have attached to your face? There's some sort of it's an old Santa beard. Yeah, maybe, maybe I don't know. Maybe I only have half of it, so it's like I'm always just like I come into the bar, the bar sideways. No, no, no. It, you, you have like the mustache, but it keeps on like half peeling and needs more spirit gum. I would like a um a peppermint beer, please. <laughs> We had some in the fridge last year. Uh, give me a thin mint stout. Oh, that's not a peppermint beer. That's a thin mint stout. I mean, give me a sneak around roll here. Not peppermint. So figure out uh, which of your tags are going to fit this this move. Not a good idea. Um. Well. I'm using. I'm currently using flight. Right. So that yeah, might yeah. be why. like. I imagine you're kind of flying like like crisscross applesauce style. Yeah. <laughs> and then you've got some like dummy legs floating at the bottom. Um. Let's see. Uh, uh, like the kid from Avatar. Might work. Yeah. And. Uh, yeah, I think flight and and missed me. Like you don't see me. Um. You don't. I... You don't notice that the the feats aren't there. Right. 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 <laughs> Like you are, you are a perfectly normal adult human yeah. with dangly feet. Yeah, um, one adult human alcohol. That, that, that you've got your hands in your pockets that are actually what are controlling the 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 feet as you as you walk. Mm-hmm. Error Jordans. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay, so go ahead. You're gonna roll two d six. You're gonna add two for each of the the things that you. Ooh. Think it's how much you get? I got a. 13. All right. That is a dynamite success. Dynamite. So if your move is dynamite on a 12 plus, your target is so entirely fooled by your secretive (laughs) or deceptive actions that you can continue to move and or act 
completely undetected by this target for the rest of the scene, so long as you do you do so in the same way you did when you scored 12 or greater. Nice. I just keep thinking about BoJack Horseman. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, you know, the... Uh, uh, the, the bartender, you know, is cleaning his glass and is like, What can I get for you? Uh, Maybe squeaky voices all around. God, take, uh, you got any of uh, their uh, alcoholic beverages here? Yeah, pal. Like, what, what, you, pick a poison. Like, you get, like, the ones that, uh, that, like, kids aren't allowed to drink. You got those, right? Yeah, could could you be more specific? Uh, do you want have a beer? Any... Do you want a do you want a whiskey? Do you want a uh, gin? Do you, any of those have like a high a high amount of sugar? Rum? <laughs> I'll take a, I'll does rum have sugar? It's it's primarily made from sugar. Oh, that sounds oh my god, that sounds great. You want it you want it you want it uh you want a straight shot? Do you want a mixer? What 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 can you mix it with? <laughs> Bartender, get him a six on the beach for me. Um, this, of course, d- describe describe uh, what um, uh, <laughs> Julio Jingles. Julio Jingle. <laughs> Julio Jingles is a petite, bleach blonde, pigtailed O Jingle. Very done up, very contoured. Picture in a jingle Kardashian. Oh, God. (laughs) That's got a lot of sugar in it, sir. Oh, great. Yeah, give that. Give me that. Am I I making one for the lady, too? I, I guess. Do you want one? Only if you're buying. Oh no! Uh, you wait. You said mine's on me, right? <laughs> like, or like you're buying mine? Are you fucking serious right now? <laughs> oh, I just buy him the buy him the drink. That's Jimmy O Jingles. Mine, <sighs> mine, and his are mine. I don't actually have any money. So that works out great. Excuse me? Yeah, that gets the 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 New York City look from everybody as they turn. It's a hell of a power move, kid. I, I'm I'm what kid? Where where do you see a kid? I don't see it's a child a, anywhere. It's a turn of phrase. Oh, the, oh, a child would come into a bar without any money, right. especially an Ochinko's bar. You don't know who I am. No, I don't know who the fuck you are. You don't know who the fuck I am. I'm friends with Santa. Santa can go chimney himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh my I'm, god, sir, I want that that's our Christmas shirt. <laughs> I'm really trying to to get that image out of my tiny little mind. <laughs> Why is your mind so tiny? Okay. Um, Obviously, you don't understand the struggles that that, that bastard okay, okay. has put our people through over the centuries. He has oppressed us. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> you ha- you have um, three clues that you can spend because th- that's the the uh, the purpose of this scene is to generate those clues. Mm-hmm. Um, so you can ask specific questions. And I think that uh, about like where, um, you know, where Tink is or what she's doing or, 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 or whatever. And I feel like that now is a good time to, uh, to maybe ask, to ask those questions so we can move the, the scene forward. So <laughs> as, as much, as much as, as much as, as we could spin off Oh Jingles into a cheers like. Sometimes you want to go. <laughs> <laughs> Where everybody, everybody squeaks jingles. your name. Your name. Ah, ching, 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 ching. <laughs> Sidebar, I did want to point out, I thought the O'Jingles were Santa's informants. Like, bros. No? Did I get that wrong? 
That doesn't mean they have to be happy about it. I mean, yeah. I mean, Julie's probably got her own opinions about fair, it. Fair enough. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, well, the reason I have no money is because I'm here actually to ask you some questions. Uh huh. So, are you are you new are you new with this kid? Buy a drink. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm old school at this, and uh, I figured that you, I've heard so many nice things about you people that you'd be, uh, you'd be forthcoming and you'd be helpful, and Santa talks very highly of you, all of you. All of us, huh? Yeah, he's, he thinks you guys are great. Huh. 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 Did he say you people? He what do you know? mean, you people? <laughs> uh, what's, uh, your, what's your question, sir? Okay, so there's this girl kink that I'm oh, looking for. A oh, a girl. It's always, always yeah. Always uh, a girl. That's, it's not like that. Uh-huh. Um, Ever is. That's what he said. Yeah, look, she, uh, she's kind of a... Uh, uh, pretty, pretty a troublemaker. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, they all are. Yeah. Well, she's kind of run away. Uh, her name's. Uh, she goes by. Wait, does she go? Oh wait, she goes. Did we decide that she goes by? Uh, Wendy, darling. Wendy, darling. Yeah. She's going by Wendy, darling. Does she? Yes, she come through here. Wendy, darling, huh? Mm. Wendy, yeah. darling, and she ran away. Mm-hmm. She didn't. She she didn't run away. She came in here because she was looking for some dust. Oh, did she find said dust? Well, you know, we know some people who know some people who know how to fly. So, yeah, she actually came in here with money. What a novel concept. <laughs> uh, I know she uh, some of that's mine. Uh, it's kind of why I'm looking for, um, you oh, can just- stole your money, huh? Yeah, okay. so, you know what, anything I order here, just put it on her tab, should, uh, that's how it works, hey, can right? can you put my drinks on her tab, too? Oh, sure, Did, we're gonna, we, we, you want me to put- Oh, yeah, all of you, put it on her tab. Yeah. You'll be fine, oh, she's fine oh, with yeah, it. That yeah, that's sure real well. You want a, you want a dirty candy cane? Oh, yeah. That doesn't sound like a drink. Um, <laughs> and, and, uh, and Janice, you want a Santa's lap dance? Yes. All right. Oh, those well, are the good ones. You know it. And I brought money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. You mean the drink? <laughs> I'll be sitting in the cool. <laughs> Find me in the champagne room. Yeah, I'll be in my bunk. <laughs> I got to get the hell out of here. <laughs> no. Uh, he, uh, um, Jimmy writes down the, uh, uh, an address on a slip of paper. She told she told us to uh, deliver it here. Deliver what here? The dust. Oh, the I dust. Were really not right, good at dust. that. No, uh, no, I knew the dust. I was testing you. <laughs> she does need to be tested from time to time. Yeah. Watch your mouth. No, I was I was I was never good at tests. Math, not my thing. This is my shocked face. Yeah. I bet you're good at math. So, <laughs> this is a rough joint. What? I, <laughs> all right, you came for what? Uh, you got what you came for. So I suggest you get out of here before uh, the rest of uh, these folks start uh, asking you uh, to put more uh, drinks on your tab that you don't have. That's a good point. I'm gonna I'm gonna head out. <laughs> oh, but you forgot to give him his one drink off of Julie. And we and we cut to uh, um, uh, Parker as he floats out of Ojangles with like a like a drink like a like a like a plastic cup <laughs> with a straw. It's got like little fishies around it. <laughs> um, what are you doing? I'm working the case. So you're working the case. How yes. uh, how do you do it? Uh, and gain three clues with a method and a source based on your description. Well. Um, as I've been going through the the big like red yarn spider map of the files that I've been keeping on rifts, mm -hmm. there have been like just over time some dead ends where some of them disappear, and mm -hmm. this is the first one that Close I have known home. personally. Yeah. So I am um, 
and uh, try and figure out um, what happened to Haley. And as far as um, you said, what method I'm using? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, well, um, talking with uh, mutual people that we knew, um, and uh, well, headed uh, I head over to the salon. And is it boarded up or is it, or is Brian there like? Because it also got flooded, right? Yeah, uh, but it's. I wasn't sure if um, Zeus uh, had put yeah, that back I together. Wanna, it, it, is, it, is, it is no longer a salon. There is no evidence of it um, being flooded. It is now. Whatever the uh, City of Mists Starbucks is. I feel like it should just be Starbucks because that's already a siren. <laughs> we already discussed it in an episode, the coffee Did shop we? across. No, that was just like a little coffee mm. shop, though, wasn't it? Yeah, that, uh, the in how have you been? Or yeah. as the independent. Or, well, it, it, Applebee's. It, it, <laughs> or maybe the subway of. Oh, God, that's rude. The spirit Halloween? No. <laughs> no, because that implies that, that it's filling up a space that was already closed. The The intent here is that it, it's as if the salon never existed. It's a boost mobile. The Earl of Sandwich. Oh, There is um, actually a sandwich shop like that. Is there yeah. There's a chain. Well, yeah. damn it. Because, um... Well, damn it. What, and, and actually, if the Pantheon is taking over, Serena, uh, Oricom has taken over the shop. Yeah, Oricom. Oh, that's actually a good idea. It, it, it's it's a it's a Oricom store. Oh shit! What's is my apartment still there? Or you Jenny's apartment? Because you had a little apartment. She above she gave me space upstairs. Yeah. yeah, so it's it's an Oricom store. It looks like it's been there for a while. Um, and you even spot. Inside Brian with a with an Oricom lanyard on, talking with um, you know a customer and you know doing the like. Look at all of the functions of this fabulous new phone. Mm -hmm. um, Very practiced. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't think this was going to upset me, but like, because I'm going to wait to uh, I need an upgrade to uh, my phone. She Serena gave me a free card to upgrade my phone and i want to talk to brian and just uh hey brian i'm sorry oh i'm sorry um you look so familiar and i no my name is my name is my name is ryan oh i'm sorry not only do i need a new phone upgrade i guess i need to get my glasses replaced as well it's okay. Uh, we can get you one. Uh, we can get you a phone that has a, a large print app. Um, my 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 mom has it, and she loves it. Like whenever I whenever I text her, um, it even converts emojis back to words, so people can understand what the emojis are. I want to know emoji translations. <laughs> oh no, I don't. My dad sends me emojis all the time. <laughs> it's just like a paragraph of emojis. Well, um. I'll take whatever upgrade this gets me. Wow. Did you find this in a museum? No, I got it directly from Serena. You, wait. Serena Del Rey. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, if, if it looks Guys, like a museum, if it looks like a museum piece, I, I hope it wasn't, you know, she just did that to- and the, the the whole staff kind of gathers around it like like it is like you just handed them oh yeah this is just a piece of the ark of the covenant you know this is one of the angels it's fine I, I have a whole box full of them um, which should you wish to take it mm -hmm. does present you the opportunity to venture into the employees only area okay yes uh, go ahead and give me a sneak around roll here Ooh. sneak around and yeah. since nothing I, I mean, investigative journalist, I think is the oh, yeah. sneakiest thing that I've got. So that's a plus one to your roll. Okay. 
And I have, I still have two logos. I'm going to move those guys out of the way. That is a 12. All right. That is dynamite. Yes. Dynamite. After last time's abysmal rolling. <laughs> yeah. Yes. We, the, I, I seem to recall last episode, there was a lot of, of shanked rolling. So <laughs> we were, it's like me. I was fine. <laughs> Moi? In the rough for sure. <laughs> um, you go into the uh, employees area. Um, and the stock room looks about what you w- would expect. Except you scooch over like a like a stack of, of Oracle phone boxes. Mm-hmm. And there's a door. And you remember this door because this is and this is the door that you would use to go upstairs to uh, your your hidden room and also to Haley's apartment. All right, I'm going to go through. We cut to. What are you doing during your montage? I'm going to deal with the Huey and Miri situation. <clears throat> um, I could go one of two ways with that. And depending on how the scene goes, it could either be on my honor personality or my fan base. Um, mostly because I'm thinking, like... My honor personality gives me the bullshit detector and the incorruptible. My per- or my fan base gives me the sense of belonging and compassionate. Well, what are you planning on doing? Um, well, I have to talk to him, and I don't want to. Okay. So, <laughs> I don't know yet. Okay. Well, you have until the end of this song because uh, they're in the uh, they're in the warm up studio. Uh, you know. Setting up their uh their 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 fart accordion five thousand. Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> ask him if he uh, ask him if he DJs weddings because you're you're looking for people for yours. Oh no, that would be so mean. It's rude, but amazing. Okay, so when did you ever back off of being mean? <laughs> fair. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. You could also enough. try deflect and dazzle. I could use deflect and dazzle. Well, I'm not necessarily going to make you roll oh, okay. to, to let this guy down. <laughs> like roll <laughs> roll to to let this guy down easy. Like that's not <laughs> I don't there's not a move in in this game for that. Yeah. Maybe if you're playing fair. Monster Hearts or or uh, <laughs> Oh, Monster Hearts. Or Apocalypse Keys or, or something like that. Um, I think Okay, so for one, I don't want to do it in front of Yui because that's awkward. Um, so awkward. Ha 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 ha. Um, so I think, uh, I think as soon as I I hit go on like that last song, I've already done my sign off. I push the button. What what song is it? I'm assuming it's a long one. Um. If yes, you don't have it, if you don't, if you don't have it, one turn in mind, around. That's it. Bright eyes. Okay. <laughs> total, cl- total eclipse total of the heart. Total eclipse of the heart. Oof. Oof. That's wow. a that's a that's a stinger. <laughs> yeah. Um. And I think I then I pop into the booth and I'm like, Hey, hi, Huey. Uh, Huey. Uh, guys, y'all, you both. Uh. Wah. Wah, wah. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. Muy. Let it. Let it go. Uh, hey, Tony. Hey, you got a hot second without yeah. this guy, baby? Oh, you want me to leave? Yeah. Um. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tony. <laughs> that's that's fucking teamwork. Um. Uh, how? Uh, what's? How's it going? Life things. Um, good. How 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 are you? Yeah, you know, just um, yeah, it's uh, yeah, Mui um, and I chatted the other day, and he said a thing, and I just thought, okay, that's cool. He 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 just talked to me too. He did. Yeah. But uh, <clears throat> what did he say? Um. 
Well, so there's this wedding that I have to go to because, you know, it's like relatives and things like that. And like, I was going to go by myself, but we was like, you know, no, don't go to, you know, don't go to a wedding by yourself. Like, it's so, it's so dumb. And he's like, I'm right. And he's like, you know, you know, you need to take more, you need to take more chances. Like, and he, and he brought up the fact that he went skydiving once. He went skydiving once. And he's like, and he thinks that he's like, you know, Indiana Jones or something. <clears throat> yeah. But he convinced me that I should do something that I am not comfortable with. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so uh, I'm busy that day. Oh. Uh, because, okay. So, uh, yeah, the day no, of it, that thing that you said. Okay, no. Was I get it. That day. I get it. That you said. I get it. Um, no, it's fine. And. Uh, I get it. No, I look. I get it. It's okay. Good. Yeah, that's. Um, <clears throat> then we're square. Then. Yeah. Uh So no, I'll. No, no, I'll, I, I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, I'll no, see you tomorrow. Uh, yeah. So I just. And I mean, he, just to, like he wait. walks out, or he heads to walk out, or. Uh, he, uh, he, uh, there, I just wanted to let you know that I um, do have uh, another person that I am the seeing, or whatever you want to call it. Um, well, it doesn't matter so. what I want to call it, it because it means. I mean, I almost got there. I almost got to ask to say how I felt. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. something, I guess. It's not skydiving, mm -hmm. but, you know, what is? Mm -hmm. I mean, skydiving is skydiving. So that. All right. Well, I'm going to uh, finish. I'm going to finish packing up. Good luck, buddy. Oh, oh, no. Who the fuck does that? Oh, really awkward people. He, he, oh, AKA he, Tawny. You're even shaking with your fucking left hand i am on the other side of the table sarah do you want me to be you like always shake huey, with your upstage huey, hand. Huey, 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 i get it i know huey stares at your hand like you're holding a a, a dirty diaper i am um, <laughs> and he, 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 he walks instead. out that's why i wash it it's clean and <laughs> he goes over uh to the fart accordion and just starts banging his head on the keys <laughs> For, for, so there's like this rhythmic banging of, of farts and Mui comes back in looks at you and goes I do the little like two handed uh, uh, salute thing nod and um, walk out cut to where are you uh, what, what are you doing during your downtime I am trying to be gooder <laughs> well, could you be more specific and specifically are you trying to fix a logos or a mythos or what are you doing uh well if i could fix my burnt the burn tags or yeah the... i have this whole card's gone but because that's gone gone i figured i would work on my only mythos left so it doesn't go away Oh yeah, you, we need to get you a, a, a new logos. Yes, okay. I figured that'd be. We'll next figure that out. Like I'm not. Oh, okay. Well, I'll deal with the three. Okay, so you're trying to improve that then? Yes, basically. So I'm going to be doing my up on the rooftops by sneaking into people's houses and leaving small gifts okay. as an early Christmas to help boost. Okay. Like, so what gift would tell me about the family that you're doing this to right now? <laughs> uh, right now, it'll basically just be a candy bar in someone's pocket. Like, okay. I'm just going to do the little things that people won't notice as, like, a free gift. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It just makes their day happy. Mm -hmm. Like, finding a dollar in your pocket. Okay. You know, kind of that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I forgot I bought this candy bar earlier. Exactly. Finding... Oh, almond joy. I'm allergic to coconut. <laughs> I was about to say I'm finding that twenty in the laundry. Yeah. You know, as you're pulling finding it out of the dryer. My pumpkin yeah. spice chapstick. Yep. Mm -hmm. That was pretty great. Not gonna lie. Um. 
Just as many of those as I can fit in. Okay. So when do you notice that you're being followed? Let's say... I like these questions because uh, it... It's, it still puts the narrative in the hand of the players, but the players who are not on the scene are like, ooh. <laughs> I'm going to say about maybe six or seven houses in if they were from the start. Okay. Because basically I wouldn't be paying attention. And then you have that kind of feeling of repeat, if that makes sense, of mm-hmm. seeing the same thing. And then eventually I'd be looking out for it. Okay. Um. So just as you as you are starting to really notice it, that's when you realize that you're not not only being followed, but you're being followed by a gatekeeper. A gatekeeper. Uh, the gatekeepers are the 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 suited um, individuals who potentially represent whatever thing is behind the city, behind the mist. Um, this gatekeeper is, uh, actually, I think you recognize him. He has orange hair. Uh Uh-oh. Mr. Orange. How close is he following? I mean, a professional distance, so probably like half a block a block. Okay. Tears over here like, that's not how I would do it. No, no, no. I was like, what the fuck is a professional distance to follow someone at? <laughs> like, if you're professional about it, they wouldn't fucking catch you. Well, technically, if you're professional about it, you actually want to have a team of three. Mm-hmm. And you basically pass the follow between them, so that way you're not one person. What yeah. I would love to do is basically attempt to lose him, double back, and follow him. Okay. Mm-hmm. Following you, following me, following you, following me, following you. All right, so give me a change the game roll here. What do you think? Uh, what What do you think fits? Creep without a sound. Yep. Classic detectiving. Yeah, I think so. And that's probably it. Okay, so roll two d six plus two. Nine. All right, so you can create a story tag, um, which basically means, like, you know, you can put, like, followed on him or something like that. Um, Burn a power tag or a story tag or give or reduce a, a status. So... I think I feel like here, if you're trying to basically flip the script on him, that's that's a story tale. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh, follow, following the follow follower. Um, Who watches the Watchmen? Right, basically. Yeah. Um. So you slip away, and like I think maybe you even like just kind of run up the side of a building using your 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 Santa power. And crouch down, and you kind of watch. You watch it as uh, Orange, or yeah, Orange looks around. You know, and just kind of mutters to himself, and then he gets a um, uh, it seems to get a message or something, uh, because he huffs and um, he gets in one of the big Cadillacs and drives away, and. You're following him, at, you know, like hopping from building to building, and um, uh, as he 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 heads back to City Center One. But as you come up on one of the buildings uh, near City Center One, you see two familiar sights: Haley eating lunch on a on a on a table with Vanessa. And that is where we will end our uh, first part of this arc. Uh, Please join us next uh, week for uh, the next steps in our story through the uh, city of mist. 
Um, for all of us here, we are... Tawny P. Thompson. Ethan Exit Anderson. Sarah Babe. Tony Cheek. Jenny Higgins. And our Lord of the Board. Brad Davey. From all of us here at Theater of the Mind Players, this is Rob Whelan reminding you to just repeat to yourself, it's only a game. and We should really just relax. We'll see you next week, everybody. Congratulations, fellow human. You've reached the end of an exciting episode of Theater of the Mind Players. If you enjoyed our story, please like the video. If you want more games, subscribe to our channel. Attack the bell for notifications on new posts. If you liked the episode, please tell us what you enjoyed the most in the comments. If you loved the episode, consider joining our Patreon. You get access to special shows, session zeros, and help us determine what we play on the show. We love our friends of Pat Rayon, and we hope to see you there.